All right, let's start this video with a Fresh Kicks intro. Top of the morning to you guys. So as you guys see, I'm back in the LS460. I'm currently getting some air because I am low. Um, the car, I'm just gonna do a quick review of the body shop work what they did. They did a great job, but it has to go back in due to some other things. I'll throw some fuel in it, not a lot though, cause last time I put half a tank and I got this car back on empty so i'm not gonna fill it all the way up for the body shop just gonna put like either a gallon or something just to get there and drop it off and then i'll fill it up when i pick it up but heading to get fuel get air then i'm gonna go park this in one of my spots that i like to go to to where it's just a roundabout where i did a video with uh Corrado for uh auto up uh, worked on so we're going to Head over there, let me get some air, some put some gas, not a lot, and then I'll show you guys the goods and the bad of what's going on with the VIP Lexus. Alright, so I just put 20 bucks in. That got me uh, like almost five gallons. So the gas is pretty cheap now. 91 is four ain't cheap, 429. So still a lot. Uh, but Got 152 miles, so basically at 100 miles. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna go over there. I was gonna spray down the car, and I'm debating if I should. You know, let's go to the buggy wash. Let's let me hose this car down, and get all the leaves from the neighbors, and get it cleaned up. I mean, the wheels, the lips, I need to polish them. They are really bad. But um, yeah, we'll get to all that. Let me do a quick little spray and get these leaves off before we do this body shop review. Alright, so this is a little spot I like to go to either take pictures, do a little cinematic stuff, just because there's nobody around and I have all this room to play with. So, if you guys didn't know, this is my 2008 LS 460. I bought this for a gift to myself for all the hard work I've been doing and all the, basically the problems I've been going through, kind of like this is technically my end game car. So I love VIP, loved it since high school. Was a big fan of the JP um, Q45 actually, but in high school, ain't nobody could afford that, especially when you got a job and you live in the hood. So I got adult money, work hard, so I bought myself a nice car. So first off, we have the Walt um, kit. I don't have the fenders. If you guys watch my TikTok, then you guys know why I don't have the fenders yet. Um, got the side skirts, rear. I do need the trunk and the top spoiler still. And then I'll have the complete kit. So we are running on 21 Leon Hardreds. Um, I forgot what the wheels, super, super sport. I've, I forgot what the wheels are called. I have to open it. Um, I am running on Michelin Super Sports. These, I don't recommend these in this kind of condition weather because you will get sideways. Um, drove this to work and uh, it, was, it was raining and it got sideways on the freeway. So I um, had to exit the freeway and take the town home. So, but 
what I have in here are um, dealership Lexus pillows. Um, these are the knockoff JPs. I'm going to take these ones off and um, get the real ones just because I bought these because I was in a hurry for the wedding. So I was trying to get everything ready for pictures. So that's the reason why I got the fake ones because the real ones would have taken forever. And this is during COVID. And they cost about $115 each. So yeah, so I was budgeting for everything as well. Um, I have floss champagne table in the back, excuse me. Um, just regular curtains, I bought these because I was actually gonna do different uh, style. I didn't wanna go JP because I wanna put my own logo on these and then um, play around with it and make it uh, kind of like my own. But I love the back seats, plenty of room. I do have the back tables. But I need to get the brackets that go here because I don't want to drill into the back of the seat. Because I mean, I can, the seat cover is just protected, but I gotta pop this off, mount it in there, and then the tables would go here. But I might make it to where it sits on here, folds down, and sits up here, um, or have the mount go here, and then uh, fabric with uh, the style on the metal brackets so it's a, another video i can do but yeah and then i got the what are these the wells visors i like them they're not expensive they're cheap um, but they do have clips so clips and double side tape and they've been holding fine they were great i bought actually two sets and i do like it because of the chrome so it matches all the trimming for the car so I have the JP hood ornament. Forgot how much would pay, but those are not cheap either. So I put those on, or put that on. Um, the headlights I do need to get uh, cleaned and cleared, um, refinished. So bring them back out and gotta do the fog lights. Um, the lips, I wanna rebarrel these because I am running spacers on front and back and I want to get the barrel set up to where I don't have to run spacers they're actually perfect for this setup and other than that I'm trying to think what else I mean it's just a clean daily car that I drive on the weekend uh, I do got a smog it so I got a smog it it's coming up so for everything and I got to put in the grill so I have the grill at home I'll show you guys when I get back to the house I got the newer modern emblem with the the walled grill to match the kit. So now just looking at the front of this kit, if you look at the front lip, it is damaged. So the reason why that got damaged was the first small chip was me. Then they literally cracked this whole lip when they're towing it to the body shop. So they pulled the car on the tow, tow truck, the chains that were connected to the sides, ended up lining up in the middle so when it pulled up it just ripped the whole lip which damaged it pretty bad and kind of made me sad um i didn't record it i should have but i was like so in shock seeing like the bumper flung off so that was just it, oh, it was a nightmare and they never replaced the fender lining that needs to be replaced as well so the lip needs to be redone again or they never did it, so it needs to be done. The lining needs to be replaced. Um, they took care of the, the scratch marks and everything when the car got broken into. Um, let me see, everything else is lining up. They got the, took off the rear bumper, they adjusted everything, that's fine. They fixed the, this door where somebody was like prying in to get in. And they kind of like messed this up and they repainted this and our color match it. And then the door, you can hear air coming in ever since they tried to like jiggle in to get in. But that's good. And oh yeah, the front seat, got floss uh, VIP table as well. Um, I did not put the bracket that goes down here to stabilize it, so I gotta do that still. Um, these seats, I'm debating on trying to find black interior so I can get the black interior's front and back seats. And then I uh, do the custom stuff for here as well. Um, just this right here is just a memory foam uh, center part for resting my arm. 
so it's very comfortable. Um, the rope, this one is fake. It's not a real JP one, that's a fake one. Like I said, I just got all this stuff real quick because it was like four days shipping for the wedding. Um, this is a Cobra mask uh, dash cover from, I have his website linked to my Instagram so you guys can uh, check out all his stuff, but I plan on, might plan on actually going his uh, brand for the whole VIP scene because he does have, uh, does have a really nice uh, interior for this car. WeatherTech floor mats. Um, I said I'll use these during the winter, but I want to get the VIP style that covers this side here and protects everything front and back. And then I want to get his seat covers for now until I can either source out a, a black one and change out the interior. Because uh, I just, it covers the mess because this is all stained from the shoes when people get in and get out. I'm constantly having to clean it, which I didn't clean the interior because like it's going back to the body shop. Um, when they, body shop took apart the doors to fix it, when they pop this, as you can see right here, they chip that. So that needs to be replaced now. He's going to take care of it. He saw it and they did that one as well. So these pieces need to be replaced. So he's gonna replace those or fix them or whatever he's gonna do as long as it gets done and take care of it. Other than that, I mean, he did fix one of my tires. Uh, he took it apart, resealed it, and now it's not leaking. This one does air up real slow. I'm not sure what's going on, but like I said, I eventually, if I can get some chrome stocks, I'll throw those on while I take these off to get replaced. Uh, the lug nuts are new uh, because they have been, the key was stolen, so he had to break them and order a brand new ones. So they are the Neo Chrome. I actually have the brand of the trunk. I'm going to check to see which ones they are. I know they weren't, they're not cheap. Come on, open, there you go. So shout out to Eliminate. So these are the ones I'm running. So they are, I got the key and everything. I got like two sets of keys. So I got all these from the brand. I got a bunch of my 240 parts in here as well, I think. Yeah. And this is a JDM dash, which I still need to, I mean, it's for right hand drive LS460. It's the same dash, I gotta, I gotta return that. I've um, been having that in the trunk, but like I said, I didn't even know because the car's been at the body shop literally for four months just to do like the simplest things and I hate to say it didn't come out the way it should have been. Um, they got the small stuff done, but the lip taking forever for it to be in the shop and it's just, it's a little frustrating, but like I said, that is my homeboy shop, so it's okay. Um, I'm bringing it back on my birthday, which is the 27th, so it's going to go back to the shop. They're going to fix it. All the parts that need to be done. The tail lights, I've been wanting to replace the tail lights. I would love to do the, the dancing lights, but because of the pricing on the lights, they're not cheap. So I think they're like almost like 2000 something for the tail lights. So I want to do the spoiler first fenders, get the tires situated. And I was looking at some aftermarket tail lights that I saw, like technically also like on eBay. They're really clean, very modern. Um, I don't know about the ceiling part though, because when it's wet like this, water creeps in and messes up. So I'm debating if I just hold out, put some dancing lights, technically LED style lights, just to kind of give it a modern look. Then it'll be good. But other than that, it's not, I mean, car runs fine. I mean, I do have some lagging when I throttle. So that's the only part that does bother me. Not a big fan of. Um, does need oil change. Like I said, I haven't drove it forever. Oil's still good, but I gotta go to the dealer and, and have the oil change. I had all the maintenance done at the dealership. So it's been record, it's on record for the mileage, everything done to the car. Um, other than that, this is like, I won't sell this car. This is my end game car. Uh, and 
and then I can get rid of this one. This will be my further car. If the motor goes bad, pull it out, throw another one in. I'm not getting rid of this car. So, like I said, I love this front end just because it's the signature LS front end. Now that the newer ones, everybody does the hourglass. You can get the hourglass on a Toyota Camry. You can get an hourglass on what, probably like the, the Lexus Land Cruisers now. So, I mean, it's the signature look. And that's why I like this one because anyone can have an hourglass. It comes on all Toyotas now. But I'm very happy with this car. Um, love the, the keychains from the dealership. Love it. Uh, but yeah, so finish up this video. I'll show you guys the inside. Everything is very luxury, very dirty. I gotta clean it like it constantly gets dirty like this. How the hell does this always get dirty? There's nothing here. I'm always cleaning this towards back to this. But then this gets dirty. And I'm like, dude, my hands never touch this. So I'm either like, when my wife drives this car, like, the hell? So detailing is not cheap for this car. It does cost like a little over 300 bucks to have the outside detail that's not in interior yet. So other than that, yeah, it sucks. But I love the push start smooth little eBay thing I put here just to protect and cover it. So yeah, so I put 50 on this back tire because it does um, get low. I do have like a um, disco looking lights. I go supposed to go in here when I'm parked at a night show. I found those after what two years or a year. Um, but yeah, I'm like I said, I'm going to take these off. I know a lot of people give me shit like, why are you running those fake stuff? Like it was for the wedding, bro. Like I can wait. I'm impatient. And plus, when you're dropping hella money on a wedding, you, <laughs> I was budgeting at the same time. But yeah, so everything works great. Um, I have no issues. Interior, everything works perfectly in here. There's no problem whatsoever. Seat warmers are great. Actually, I'm going to turn that on now because my butt's cold. Um, but yeah, this is my... My comfortable car, I plan on road tripping this one once I get everything situated to where it's to my liking. Okay, so I'm, so. And that works great because with these wheels, I cannot put uh, uh, temperature sensors in it just because uh, our TPS sensors, the kind of thing it's called, is because the wheels, unless I have the stock ones in. So I would like to get those stock wheels eventually, the chrome ones. I come on the LS, what is 600 L's or 460 L? I don't even remember. But yeah, so this was given to me by Randy from Eliminate. This was supposed to go on the 240, but um, I'm I don't drive the 240 as much as I would like to, just because it's a drift car. So I drive this. I'm gonna use this. It works great. Perfect grit, uh, gift. Thank you, Randy. I do appreciate it. And other than that, I mean, the car is smooth. I mean, I love it. I don't know who the hell's been sitting in this seat because this is gangster leaning. Uh, but yeah, I just got to clean like small little stuff, like the dirty things here that bug the hell out of me. But yeah, so I'm not doing nothing to it. I don't want to touch it. I really don't want to drive it just because I got it back from the body shop. They're not done. So I don't want to drive and say, oh, well, you did this, you did that. Well, technically I didn't. So basically now all I did was I went to work, parked it, just because I didn't want to drive a stick. I was lazy. I wanted to drive an automatic. And then now, driving it here to do the review on what you see now and what we're going to get when we get the car back um, after we're done. So, I got to Like, I mean, I love this interior. I love this gray. It's very classy looking. Um, but I'll always be a fan of the black on black Yakuza Mafia look. It's just very classy to me, but yep. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm happy with the shade cover. I mean, it works great. So when I'm driving, I like how I can, it goes up and gives the passenger shade. The tinting on here is actually Mercedes tint. It has, that's why it has that bluish tint to it. It's based off of the Mercedes. Uh, that's why people always, always ask me like, Aren't you gonna black out your windows? No, dude, I got the Mercedes tin on here. It has that nice look. Curtains, I gotta take this off. 
See, it's not gripping no more. I gotta take these off, re-clean it. I gotta put my my logo on here and do things. So basically, um, I was trying to start up a company, trying to do things, trying to start my own label and everything, and it didn't work out. So I took it out. Uh, learning experience, it is what it is. And then, you know, of course I got depressed and kind of stepped away and didn't want to do things and blah, blah, blah. I uh, went back to truck driving and started making money again. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love truck driving, but at the same time, it's something I want, I'm meant to do something else. So now that I'm doing, um, in the process of being a peace officer, AKA correctional. So, and people always ask me like, aren't you scared of, you know, being a correctional officer? And I tell them like, it's not a job for everyone. Like a lot of people, like you just can't have no fear. So like a lot of people will, you know, like you, no matter what job we do, we can, something can happen to us every day. I can get killed just driving home from here. So, I mean, but yeah, I put myself in danger and I do get pumped off of it. And I do like the opportunity that I'm helping somebody kind of get their stuff together to where when they get out, you know, they can be, uh, you know, take care of their family, him or her, you know. And I just want to be able to do something I enjoy. And that's something, honestly, <laughs> what I enjoy. And a lot of people call me weird for it, but it's, it is what it is. I enjoy doing it that's what I want so but yeah I gotta be careful driving because these tires these are freaking awesome they grip and go but when you got a little bit of wet leaves moisture on the ground I, this rear end of this car kicks out it's pretty cool I mean it's dangerous but at the same time it's like it's a trip and people looking at me like what the hell but yeah so I gotta do a video on the Civic um that'll probably be the next video uh, right now is um like the hate oh i get so much hate for driving this car like people give me the dirtiest looks like i get looks from like older white people they look at me like see a young guy in a nice car and then some people don't know what it is and think it's like it's not a rolls royce a bentley and they see the tables and they're like looking at this young guy where's he get his money I'm like, it's easy to make money. You just, you got to lose sleep. So like I said, I work six days a week, 12 hours to 14 hours a day. Uh, Sunday is my day off. So Sunday is like today where I'll record and I'll do a video. Just pulling up right now to my house. Um, so like I, I get a lot of, a lot of hate. Like people just hate, 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 hate on me. And if it's not for the 240, then it's for the Lexus and then with the Civic that's a whole different story I get everyone trying to race me in that car but that'll be in the next video um, but yeah so as now you guys can see like I said I put air tires it's gonna sit again until the 27th uh, I'm gonna take out like certain things out of here the pillows I'm gonna probably put those in the Avalon so my parents can have comfortable neck pillow when they're driving they don't need to have the real deal stuff. They're not doing no car shows. So I'll just put that so they can be comfortable. Uh, I do kind of want to get a back table for the Avalon though, but I can't. It's like I said, they're, they're driving it. I can't VIP nothing really hardcore on that one yet. Um, wheels, I do want to put wheels on it though. Uh, but other than that, yeah, the car runs great. It's smooth. It's, it's kind of good on gas. It's kind of like driving a van. Like literally driving a truck this this car is like driving a truck same gas price um i really i love this car this is like i said this is my end game i love me a skyline i would love to have r32 but the way this this car makes me completes me and gives me a great feeling plus i've always wanted a vip car and i got one i tried doing it with my ls430 but having a baby um, not making a lot of money in Vegas and not knowing any connections, not knowing anyone that can guide me towards getting a better job out there. And all those guys, they, they hit it on me too. All those, and like, damn, they're my own people too. You know, I'm Filipino. Y'all hate it on me. 
So that's one thing. I get so much hate from my own people. Like, dog, what? You mad at me because I'm fucking 6'5"? Because I'm hella tall? Hella big? I, like, it's like, come on. Like, dude, I, I got your back. You're my people. I, I look after y'all. And yet I get treated like, and that sucks because, yes, I am a half-breed. I get treated like a half-breed. But, yeah, so, and in the video here, that's like a whole different story. Um, but like I said, shout out to um, everyone that's been supportive to me on this channel. Everyone that showed love. Um, I do appreciate you guys all. And um, like I said, everyone that's constantly keep hating. It is what it is, man. Y'all just, you don't do nothing when I'm at the car meet or at a show. Y'all just, y'all don't say, you don't keep that same energy you do on the keyboard. So like I said, you know. Get at me if you bout it. Like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let nobody step over me. Cause like I said, I love, love everybody, and I'll kill you guys with kindness because we all need to show, you know, love to everyone. There's no need for this, this type of life. We're not getting nowhere. We need to work together, for God's sakes. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. Before I get all into this church stuff, <laughs> um, just want to say, love you all. Be safe. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys in the Civic video. Peace.